kick back, unwind, and enjoy a rare find. Today, we have 13 rare finds. First rare find is this mini Sony Walkman, and it's just the radio, and a lot of conflicting information online as to when it came out. I guess it was, it was, uh, it was, uh, re-released throughout the years or something, but it looked pretty cool, and I got it. It was one dollar. Next rare finds. I got three Sony CRT remotes, and you know me, I'm the CRT man, so it's cool for me, but probably not everyone's cup of tea. Here's the first one, it looks like it goes to one of those little smaller Trinitrons maybe. Usually any kind of Sony, any kind of Sony remote that I see out there, just that's cheaper, like a dollar, I'll just pick them up. Here's the next one. This one looks more standard where it has these two, whoops, where's my finger? Has these two buttons arranged like this at the bottom. I think the, uh, some of the nicer Sony's and maybe the uh, 100 series is, they have uh, that kind of remote style. And here's the third one. It's got a uh, VCR plus option on there. Oh man, I remember that. Yeah, so not really trying to start a remote control collection, but it might be starting. Uh, we'll see. Next up we have a blockbuster video, take this box to rent movie, but it doesn't say that on there, but that's what it is. For some reason the, the font is missing. This is for blockbuster stealth widescreen. There's stealth in there in all of its glory. Yeah, one of my friends really likes this movie. You know who you are. Okay, the rest of the rare finds are the VHS tapes, and there's uh, some really good ones in here. So if you're a VHS fan, this is the part for you. First up we have Fright Night and it's in really really nice shape and I've never seen this movie before so it's on the later release VHS I think as far as I want to know about this one but yeah pretty cool and that cover is amazing. Next up we have Razorback. I have no idea what this is about but it looks like a wild boar. Is that right? There's a tree and there's a truck and I don't know looks like the UFOs are abducting the truck. I don't know what's going on here. Oh it's a hog wild tail. A hog wild tale of terror in the Australian outback. Wow, wild boar it is. The Black Scorpion Returns. Hmm, never seen the first. What's the first uh, Black Scorpion about? I don't know. But you know what this tagline is? She's bold, she's beautiful, and her sting is deadly. Next up, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and I've been told this is the first release because it talks about Temple of Doom coming out down here at the bottom, so that is pretty cool. Not in too bad of a shape, and it's not a rental from what I can tell, except for that sticker. I don't think it has anything to do with rentals, but if this was not a rental, this was uh, pretty pricey. We have Top Seal. Top Seal. We have Top Gun, and it is sealed. And it's for my sealed collection. Mannequin, and it's on the old media sleeve. Pretty cool old one there. I'm not really a big fan of this movie. It's okay. Okay, we got two left. Beneath the Bermuda Triangle, the secret lies beneath. Yeah. Or the, no, the secret to the future lies beneath the Bermuda Triangle. Definitely looking forward to this one. And the last rare find is Boogeyman, the killer compilation. What does it say? The scariest boogeyman ever to appear on film together for the first time. The ultimate horror experience. Yeah, but there's a, there's a problem because... You know when you buy a tape, you got to look inside to confirm that the tape's right, right? Well, that's it. And remember, like Indiana Holmes always says, keep up the grind, and you get a rare find.